Greetings, got a goal back again with another video. Now this video was uh, mainly requested due to the polls. As, well, even though it was only one vote, I figured why not do a tutorial? I'm sure this will help people. Um, so let's get started. Now this tutorial is going to be a little different. This is how to create a character in Hoi4. Now when you create a character, each character has its own ID. Without said ID, they technically can't exist. There are ways to create a leader inside the history file or via event or focus. However, when it comes to making them, you always have to make sure that they have portraits and they are scripted. If there's no name for them, well, it might come up blank, underscored, or just, well, buggy in general. So, for the sake of this test, I'm going to... Let's start by creating a mod very quickly. Now, if you already created a mod for this test tutorial, then you're all set. But for those who don't, this is what you do. So you do test test, test, and then you do fixes, and, well, you could do graphics too, depending on if you're working with images or GFX. Then what you're going to do, you're going to go into mod, find test, which is somewhere, and you're going to go in here. Now the character files that you will need is common, and inside common, you need characters. Now, inside characters, you're going to have text files. These text files point to individual uh, areas, like for example, countries. It is very e much easier to just do, like, you know, country sortings and yada yada. So let's say, if you want to create a leader to replace Stalin, you can do that. All you have to do is make the ID. How do you make the ID? Simple. So you move Stalin down. In this case, you can copy pretty much any template you want, just so long as it has country leader on it. That's what you want for the leader to actually appear. If it's advisor, well, he's going to show up as a very small icon in your political chart. So, fair warning on that. Uh, you don't need these army stuff. I mean, I can get to that in another portrait if you guys want. Comment down below if you want to see it. So now let's say in the Soviets. Um, say if you want to replace Stalin with... Um, Nikolai Bukharin, who was another um, Bolshevik uh, commander, leader, pretty much a uh, notable person. Now, of course, when you're making this leader, I would strongly prefer that you would use underscore so that you can localize it. But, of course, if you really don't want to localize the name, and you just want to put it here, you can just simply copy this name, and then just put it here, with quotations, of course. Now, of course, without this quotation, then, well, it's going to break, basically. Now, for Nikolai Bukharin's ID, it's this right here is non-negotiable. This, this right here you need the ID. No ID, he can't exist. Simple as all that. So then what you're going to do is, for the sake of this, instead of Joseph Stalin, you do Nikolai Bukharin. All underscore, of course. Because you want to you want to try to match the picture ID as much as possible. For the sake of convenience and organization. We'll get to that after, okay? So, let's figure out when he died. So, he died... He died in 1938. So, what you're going to do 
March 15th. So it goes year, month, day, and I think that is hour, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but that's okay. We, you don't have to change that much. Um, his ideology, well, he probably, even if he does have his own ideology, I think, for the sake of this tutorial, uh, let's keep him under one thing, because, well, you know, you don't want him to be overlapping, which reminds me, uh, I forgot to mention, when you create your, when you create your character file, you have to copy. I'm very, I am very sorry I didn't tell, tell you this sooner. Um, so, copy, make sure you copy this file, or whatever file you're working with. And then you can put your leader in. Once he's back, once they're in, you hit save. And if you don't want Stalin to appear, here's something you can do. Comment him out. How do you do that? Here's how. You click, you click the top line. You hold alt. Or alt shift, it's up to you. And then shift three. That makes this comments it all out. That means it, um, Stalin will not appear. Now, since we're not changing ideologies, you have to pick a sub ideology. You can't pick the main ideology, otherwise, it won't work. So, let's just call it, let's just give him Marxism for now. Now, I know he probably, oh, sorry, that wasn't traits. I know he's, um, Probably, if, if he does have a different ideology, I'm sorry, this is just sick for an example. It's not meant to promote historical inaccuracy. Uh, but you basically put the sub-ideology in here. Don't use the communism, though, or pretty much democratic, or fascism, or neutrality. Because if you use these, then it's going to break, basically. So you always got to be careful when it comes to making stuff like that. Alright, so, once you figure that out, the next thing is his portrait. Now, making his portrait, I'm not going to go in depth of detail, but all you do is copy leader portraits, go to your main hub, mock the terminal, you go to the show, right click, show more options, new, folder, this is Windows 11 by the way. You type that interface. Then I'm going to open that, copy the leader portraits. Now you can, I just also want you to know that you don't have to always use this. You can literally just, like, watch. You can literally delete this and you can use your own. You don't need. You don't need vanilla. As long as this is renamed to something else, you're all set. Just a little heads up, by the way. So, uh, for this portrait, let's say this will be the name of the file. Now, of course, before it, you have the directory, GFX, leaders, in this case, SOV, that's the country ID that we're going to be mainly targeting. So it's GFX, leaders, solve, and then you put his portrait in here. Now, of course, if you want a quick portrait, all you do is just go into GFX, grab a leader. You can use pretty much whoever you want, just so long as the picture is changed and you are able to see him in game. So like for example, I'm gonna borrow this uh, this Thai portrait for a sec. Then I'm gonna replace it 
with something else. Now, of course, um, you don't have to use paint.net, which I typically shouldn't use. I usually use Photoshop, but it's up to you. Just so long as you can fit it correctly, you're all set. Um, then what you're going to do, put his portrait in, save, or export in this case. You don't have to color it. I mean, you can if you want to make it look better, but in this quick little tutorial, I'm just going to save that. Um, I'm just going to save it as this. I'm not going to go through uh, hoops just to do one thing. Now, that's this is the DDS way of doing it. If you want to know how to do a PNG way, here's a, here's a bit of know-how to do it. So, what you're going to do is if you copy this and you save it again, but this time save it as a PNG. What you're going to do, change the extended name at the very end here to PNG. That will point directly to the file. That will tell the game that this is the portrait, not DDS, even though you could use this one too, but PNG is less time consuming. If you know what I mean. Now, here's the thing. You can start the game and give it a shot, but here's the problem. He's still missing. Why? It's because he's not recruited in the Soviet um, group, country. How do you do this? Very simple. History. Countries. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. Countries. And in here, you find Sov. And then what you're going to do is, don't worry about all this other line of coding. Your biggest and most important thing to find is Joseph Stalin, which is right here. What you're going to do is you're going to copy his line as a template. You're going to comment him out. You're going to give the ID, which is the very top of the character. And you're going to drop that there. He will be, he should now be the leader of the USSR, and since he's under the communist ideology, since we didn't have to change the party popularity, which is somewhere below, one sec, um, that makes it easier, because he doesn't, you know, right here, still communism, yada yada. So now, what you're going to do, after you've done all that, you find where it is, and make sure it's active which is right there. Then, you're going to hit play. You can run this in debug mode too, to help, but sometimes it doesn't always help. Um, it's, like I said, Play 4 can be picky at times, but um, if, for those who don't know, or if those who haven't seen, yes, it can be very picky, so, yeah, and as you can clearly see, that's him, Nikolai Bukharin now rules the Soviet Union in this mod, and on top of that, that's a PNG, that means PNG and, well, Sov works, now you also notice, and I can't believe I just did this, generic portraits, but don't worry, there's an easy fix for this too. All you have to do is rename this file. Uh, to what you can probably rename it to? Well, you can just do this. Custom leader portraits. That'll prevent the game from being overlapped. So, let's try it. That fixes the portraits, by the way. I've delved into it many times, and I've seen patterns happen like that. So it's it gets a little weird at first, but once you know how to do portraits, 
See? They're all back. And as you can clearly see, he's still there. Stalin's gone. So yeah, that's about it. That's how you do... That's how you replace portraits with PNG portraits with your own custom ones. Again, this isn't the style that I usually use. This is just something quick and on the fly, but you can literally use whatever you want, just so long as it works for you and your mod. Um, so that's the, sub the subjective part of it, but hey, I'm just here to help. Anyways, I hope this helped you. Have a good day. God of Gold is out.